I activate my quick play spell card. Unity of Magic. Now with this spell, I can sacrifice a level 5 or higher spellcaster like my Cosmo Queen. After which, I can revive a level 4 or lower spellcaster from my grave like Magician's Valkyria. Then, Cosmo Queen will provide her attack points to all my remaining spellcasters. And now... Mia, please don't make me do this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's wrong, sis? After years of me living in your shadow, you're telling me now? Of all times, you can't bring yourself to finish me? Now, of all times, you care? Well, I've had enough of you only caring about me once everything goes to hell. Come on, sis. Finish me. Do it. Come on. Prove to me how much you actually care about me, sister. Come on. Do it. Mom. <laughs> Mom. Mom. Huh? I, uh, I'm on my way to the train station to go to Wheeler Academy. I, uh, are you okay? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm fine. Don't worry about me, darling. Just good luck, okay? I, uh... I have high hopes for you, darling. Yeah, I knew. You and the rest of this family's expectations are the reason I need therapy. Alright, I'll be heading off then. I love you, Mum. Oh, sis. If only I knew. I promise. What happened to you won't happen to Dahlia. I'll make sure of it. God, I'm going to be sick. Please don't let this be a bad omen for the Academy. Pay a tip. Bruv, you drive around like a fucking drunker who just found out his wife had an affair with the fucking pool boy. I'm not giving you a cent more than what I owe you for the tribe. I got two hours to kill. <sighs> this far into my life and every aspect of it has somehow come back to these. To these glorified pieces of paper. Before all this, I thought the only pieces of paper that would matter in my life would be the sheet music. Shows what I knew. And then all of this. You are the only piece of me truly in here. I've never been able to do them my way. Just however I've been told to. Dahlia! Oh! Bugger! Oh, shit! Um, sorry for giving you a scare, Dahlia. I, um, I only wanted to say hi. Wait, 
Quinn? <laughs> um, hey, Dahlia. Jeez, what happened to you? You've changed so much. <laughs> I guess I did. A lot can happen. I mean, I know I didn't have these glasses the last time we saw each other. Which was about... Been ten years ago? Yeah, th th that's it. It's really been a decade. Huh. How time flies. City is a dragonfly, am I right? <laughs> you, you still have my sense of humor down. I'm, um... I'm sorry I had to move away. Hey, don't be. Where'd you end up anyway? Back in my, um, parents' home. The fusion dimension. Back to their castle. Right. I forgot your parents were Brazilianers. You enjoy caviar washed down with Dom Perjean? <laughs> <laughs> nah, I never had a taste for that life. No pun intended. No, never any uh, champagne. Always uh, burgers and fries for me. I'll, um, I'll always remember the ones we used to get get together at uh, Jessica's, Jessica's diner. diner. So, how's life been treating you? Uh, pretty swell. Something funny happened. Oh yeah? My, um, my parents wanted to marry me off to someone for, um, business reasons. You know how those TV dramas we used to laugh at go. If you need me to beat that bitch up. Oh no 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 no. Here's, um, here's the thing and um, you might want to put your fisticuffs down. We, um, fell in love with each other. Before we even learned we were arranged to be married. Wow, talk about a once in a lifetime coincidence. Yeah, she's um she's really great. Well, why isn't she with you now then? Oh, she's um she's touring. Touring? She's um Navy Leilani, you know that um the J pop idol sensation. Oh dude lucky! Huh? Totally good for you, but man, she is a knockout. <laughs> so, um, so how's life been treating you? Uh, great. Yeah, yeah, just uh, fine and dandy. Dahlia, is um, something wrong? Uh, nope, just uh, you know, worry for the school year. Gotta leave a good first impression, you know, especially considering who my mum is. Uh, ah, right. Hey, um, oh, I know something that can clear those worries away. You gonna read bug facts out to me again? I, I mean, if you really want me to. You know what? That sounds really great, actually. I could use the sight of you nerding out about those creepy crawlies right now. <laughs> a, a lot of them aren't that creepy, actually. They're beautiful in their own unique way, you know, like everyone is. Quinny, you have no clue how ugly I feel on the inside every single day. All right, Quinny, hit me. And that's why most spiders are actually really good to keep around in your home. Huh. Well, I feel bad now for the spider's eye of- If I say swatted his heart will break. Put her in a cup and took outside. No worries. More knowledge for next time, right? The academy should be on a 10 minute walk from here. Alright, Quinny. Oi, Devastator. Hey. Excited as ever, I see. <laughs> well, ready for your match? We got someone in there we just call the Nullifier. He is a known jobber. His deck is interesting. I'm sure you'll find out what it is. Just make sure not to push yourself too hard. Beating him will just like be shoving a toddler into the floor. A jobber? What? Are we suddenly throwing a puppy with only three legs into the den of a hungry lion? Hey, don't look at me like that. I don't book the matches. The nullifier demanded a match with you. <sighs> Why?
I suppose he was feeling lucky today. Probably a, it's not gonna be me kind of deal. All the same, I know you don't like taking it easy, even when your own health is on the line. Please just try not to stomp all over him. I doubt the crowd would find that interesting. Plus, you know what the manager is like. The manager wants me to take it easy against a jobber. Someone with no wins on his record. It would maybe my final match here before I get sent off to that damn academy. You cannot be serious, right? <sighs> Relax, my dear. I'm not asking you to just flat out let him win. Just drag on the duel a little, you know? Bloodhound, I like you. I really do. But if this is my last match here before I go, I want a message to be delivered to every other duelist here. None of them will ever be on my level. I am going to obliterate this guy. I will make an example out of him. Very well. But know this, kiddo. Don't call me that. You've got to learn mercy eventually. After all, I doubt that you'll be able to fit in with the Academy with that kind of attitude. Let me make one thing clear. Going to that Academy was not my choice. It was the manager who sent me there because my matches weren't profitable. Suppose he didn't want the well to dry up too soon. Wells need to be dug first, kiddo. Don't call me that. Only then can you lay the foundations. Your well's gonna be pretty empty if you keep going at it alone. Going at things alone has got me this far. Who's to say it'll stop carrying me? Let me tell you something, Bloodhound. I am the next step in human evolution. Ugh, here we go again. I do not need inferior humans to hold my hand. I am fine alone. Take it from someone who knows kids. Whoa! Don't call me that. I am not a weak child. I am not a helpless infant, and you will not call me one! Then stop acting like one! A decade of me being here, being the most dominant duelist here, and yet you remain the only one not bowing at my feet. Why is that? Not that I desire such things, of course, but such a difference in how you act compared to how the herd of sheep act is noticeable. Because, as I was trying to say earlier, sometimes you need people like that to remind you you're not invincible. Because it only hurts more when the truth comes to slap you in the face. I should know. Will the Devastator and the Nullifier please report to the dueling ring? Well, I've wasted enough of your time already. That's your cue. Oh, here we go, here we go. The, the, the Devastator's last duel. So, how long you betting the Nullifier will last this one, eh? Hmm, let me think. Uh, I'm betting... I'm betting 100 quid that the Devastator is able to knock him out turn one. I'm betting turn two. And I'm betting a million on a zero turn OTK. You're balmy, mate. I'm sorry, you're just gonna lose all your money. I mean, they're good, but not that good. Eh, all the same. I am gonna miss him. And I am looking forward to the Nullifier's face once they absolutely crush him. Yeah, I'll say. Ah, you are the devil, Stacer. You must be destroyed. Destroyed. <sighs> you are a joke to this dueling ring. Well, <laughs> your words hurt me. <laughs> your opinion remains invalid to me. <laughs> You make as little sense as a one by one Rubik's Cube. You would just get this duel started already. Though even calling what's about to happen a duel would be generous. Oh, she got you, Nullifier. She got you. Yeah, do yourself a favor and take that voice back to Squidward, why don't you? Words. Confusing. Hurtful. Ugh. You must be destroyed. No more talking. Duel must start. Duel. Starting hand draw. Well, yeah. This hand is absolutely perfect. I can only dream of a better one. Activate spell card. Double summon. I summon Ally of Justice, Cyclone Creator, and Dark Artist. 
sorry mate, but you don't really look like much of an artist to me. Maybe you should go back to school so you could learn how to use a real deck. I'll say, Ally of Justice? That deck is horrible! Now, I activate Spell Card Star Changer to reduce the level of Cyclone Creator. Now, I tune my two monsters together. Synchro Summon, the most powerful monster in the game, Ally of Justice Catastor! <laughs> I shall set one card face down and end my turn! Congratulations, you wasted your entire hand to summon only one monster. Draw. <laughs> Once you have ended your turn, unsuccessfully, you shall be nullified! <laughs> Hey, crowd, why do we call him the Nullifier again? Because there's nothing going on in his stupid little head! Exactly. Since I control no monsters, I can special summon Hite's Flame Sprite from my hand. Then, since Flame Sprite was summoned, I get to add a Heat Haste card from my deck to my hand. Now I normal summon the monster I just added, Heat Haste Wildfire Shaman. Activate effect when Wildfire Shaman is summoned. One spell or trap card in your field is destroyed. Then, you take 500 points of damage. Oh. You don't have to do that. Your monster says, Can? I can. And so, I will. Go, Wildfire Tornado. Ah, no, my mirror force! My strategy's ruined. You put me in ruins, you say? Two together, level four sprite with a level two tuner shaman. Synchro summon, level six. He takes berserk dragon. Activate effect. When berserk dragon is synchro summoned, I can discard any number of cards in my hand. Then destroy that many cards on the field. I discard one to destroy Cataster. Ah, that's busted! I banish the card from my graveyard that I discarded. Shrine to the Tyrant. By banishing this card from my graveyard and sacrificing a Heat Haste monster I control, I can special summon from my deck my ultimate monster. Imagine it now. You're standing hopeless in the wake of a planet that was brimming with life, now covered in fires that will never be extinguished. Descend, Dragon Empress over the Heat tribe. Heat Haze Dragonic Tyrant! Oh ho ho! You're screwed now, Nullifier! Ah oh, yeah, I'm gonna miss that dragon. Oh, I have lost half a dozen quid, haven't I? Yes. Wait, you're only now realizing that? Wow, you're probably stupider than this guy. No, sorry, that's being way too generous to the Nullifier. My bad. The manager wants me to stretch his duel out. Fine, I will give him what he wants. I activate a spell card. Heat Haste Extinction Hunt. This spell can only be activated if I control a Heat Haste monster with Dragonic Tyrant in its name. With it, I can special summon any number of Ojama tokens to your field. Then you draw a card for each that was summoned. Hello. 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 What is the meaning of this? Why are you giving me five? Ah well, at least I can draw five cards from this. Ah, new hand. Hey, look, nullifier. It's monsters that are just as ugly as you! You know, I didn't know you were the missing six, Ojama. I wonder what color you would be. Uh... Ojama... Lime? I am entering the battle phase. At this moment, your Gonic Tyrant's effect activates. I can pick one of two effects to kick in, and I choose the first one. Eternal Flame of the Empress. Eternal... Uh... Now, congratulations! 
will take no damage from Balsa's turn. In return, after my Tyrant burns her monster to ashes, not only does she gain 500 attack points permanently, she can attack again! Go, Dragonic Tyrant! Extinction Pyre! Alright, oh, and there are Jama tokens, aren't they? Which means for each one destroyed, you take 300 points of damage. <laughs> My skin is melting! It burns! Set one card face down, end my turn. He took pain from Ojama's blowing up in his face? Wow, what a whip! There are a fool! I can now win this turn! Thanks to all the cards you have given me! The only conclusion to your stupid decision is that you are an idiot! <laughs> The only thing devastating about you is your stupidity! What is that? I told you you'd get one more turn. I didn't say you'd get to do anything. My spiritual fire art current I let you sacrifice my tyrant. <laughs> then, you take damage equal to her original attack points. You lose. No! <laughs> Have pity! <laughs> Well, I've heard of the phrase crash and burn, but this is ridiculous. I'll be surprised if he even steps foot back in here, let alone win a duel. Is that another bet I smell? Well, I can't say we're surprised, but hey, at least the Devastator gave us one last memorable finish for her last duel for the time being. Up next, we've got a match between the Bloodhound and the Crackling Dragon. So don't go anywhere. You call that stretching out the duel? I gave him another turn, didn't I? Fair enough. Look, I'd love to keep chatting, but I've got a match to attend in less than 10 minutes. I'm gonna miss you around here, kid. <laughs> Sorry, almost said it again. I'm gonna miss you around here, Blake. Just remember, a wolf can't survive without its pack. You'll need people to remind you you're not invincible. And some friends, too. Where are yours? I'm saying goodbye to one right now, aren't I? Darn it, darn it, darn it! This is what happens when you procrastinate on packing, Alana. Okay, okay, um, close, check. Bathroom essentials, check. Dual pad, check. Makeup, check. Snacks for the road, check. Teddy bear, check. Okay, I, I think I got everything. Time for me to go beyond that horizon, mommy. Just a shame you won't be there to see the sunshine with me. <sighs> I really gotta go. Where to, Miss Valentina? To Wheeler Duel Academy, Franzworth. Excited for your first day at the Academy, Miss Valentina? Yeah, I am. Just wish it could have been sweeter, you know? Yes. Shame your mother couldn't see where you ended up and how you ended up. Talk about a rags to riches story, yes? Yeah, I mean. We consider Chinese a takeout luxury. Now I can casually eat the finest steaks in the world and wash it down with the finest wine on the market. It's still kind of surreal, you know? But I love this life. It just feels hollow to not be able to share it with. I owe your mother a great depth of gratitude myself. If not for her unfortunate demise, I'd still be in that stuffy old underground. I will forever be in her debt, and I'll do my best to repay it by taking care of you. Are you still on that plan of yours to hunt down the queen? She was the one responsible for her death. Why wouldn't I be thinking of that plan? 
I would strongly advise not going through with such a plan, Miss Valentina. The underground is not a place for you. You'd stick out like a sore thumb and be targeted as a result. I think you would get mugged and stabbed there much quicker than you'd get a duel. I can handle myself, Fransworth. That I'm perfectly aware of. You insist on cleaning your room by yourself and the kitchen after you've cooked in it. Regardless, household chores and competing in sanctioned tournaments like you do is child's play compared to the underground. From what I've heard from one of my friends who still goes there, it's only gotten worse after your mother's death. All the more reason to try and stop them, right? If not the entire underground, then at least I want to take out the queen for what she did. She deserves her comeuppance at least. Look, why not let sector security handle it, Miss Valentina? Really good joke, Fransworth. The last time sector security did anything successfully, my mom wasn't in an urn yet. I suppose so. Still, that's no excuse for you to go and take them on. I suggest using your time at the academy to try and learn and relax. You don't have to goad heirs and heiresses with money bags instead of brains into duels anymore. You can take your foot off the gas. Easier said than done. I've never had to do that before. Always just full speed ahead. All the time. I never once slammed on the brakes. Well, you're going to have to learn eventually. Maybe this academy could be the perfect time to do that. Speaking of which, we're almost there. <sighs> Thanks, Bransworth. Turn your tricks, now what will you choose? 